As I said earlier on, we have uh, a lot of interviews today and a lot of things on the agenda. All right, and welcoming our first guests uh, in studio. Everybody can say the name individually. Right? Hi, I'm Shari Petty. I'm a filmmaker. Hi, <laughs> Hi I'm Jonathan Dixon, actor. All right, Jonathan, and... Hi, everyone. I'm Angel Fortune. I'm <laughs> Chester. Chester. <laughs> welcome, guys. Welcome, guys. What's up? What's up? How are you all feeling today? All oh, cool. cool. Happy to be here, honestly. Excited. You know, the cool vibe. Yeah, you know cool energy. <laughs> all right, so, of course, um, Shari, well, I know, and our Lady Nation, know you are a uh, cinematographer, you know, creative director, you do a lot of things in terms of uh, cinematography and film in yes. TNT, you know. But um, you're doing, so, well, you're with a team called C. Yes. So <laughs> let's start with that. What is C and, and, you know, what do you all do? Right. So Scene is a production company I created back in 2019. Okay. And it's been a platform where I could, I, I wanted to move away from putting a lot of my work on my personal page and all this kind of stuff and wanted to also formalize myself as a filmmaker. I just got out of university at that wow. same point in time studying mm -hmm. film at UE. Okay. So I was like, you know what, we know what better time now than to start a company. And, you know, I work with a lot of my close friends who I either went to school with at some point in time or started off like since we were teenagers doing film. So a lot so of how long have you been doing? Film. Yeah, I've been doing films like in front of before behind the camera since I was nineteen. I'm twenty eight okay. now, so that's okay. almost a decade. And before that, I was an actor and still did a lot of film stuff. So I would act in commercials even when I was in high school. But I didn't really get in front of the camera until like you know, like nineteen years old. Okay. So you know, right now I work with a lot of people who I would have met back then. Mm -hmm. And you know, on some some on a freelance basis, some people work with me more permanently, like two people, like editor and a, an assistant. Okay. Okay. And you know, we just love making you know work about Trinidad and Tobago. That's what you know a lot of the, the stuff on there is for, like show, yeah, showcasing our culture. See, yeah, it's a lot about the culture. You know. And, and bringing our culture to the forefront as well too and how to give sure. some clappers or not but what you. are some of the things that people would actually know you from you know in terms of your work in no. terms of my work, I've done like. In front of the camera. <laughs> <laughs> in terms of in front of the camera, I used to be in a lot of like commercials for like you know Flo and right, you know right. White Oak and stuff like that. But right. behind the camera, most recently I did um, music videos for Teja and Free Tongue for Mass. Right. I did um, Jimmy. That's a beautiful video. Thank I you. <laughs> I had a lot of fun working on that. It's a yeah. great song too. Yeah, yeah, it is. And um, Jimmy October, okay. Ramon Calypso. I okay. recently did that too. Okay. And other than that, I did like a couple of commercials recently for um, for different brands um, under my can so a lot of stuff that you would see on TV would be you know stuff that I worked on either for carnival or for Christmas or yeah, otherwise right. as well and well I have a film called Sophia that I did back in 2017 that mm -hmm. a lot of people you know they, it traveled the world a lot for different film festivals and it was sold out at different screeners in Trinidad as well and won people's choice for best short documentary that's when I was in UE still mm -hmm. and since then before that before that I did small lime and since then I've been working on mass so I mean, this is all I really do for the most part. Like, I don't really have much interest in. I mean, I love music as well, and the music yeah. is a major part of what I do, yeah. and I include it in that. But you know, creativity is like I live and breathe every single day. Wow. You know, any form of creativity. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I can definitely see that as well because I've seen a lot of your work, and um, well, a close friend of mine. Um, as everybody will know, as Junior Lee. Yes, yes, you know, my close um, friend too. He, he doesn't always talk about Charlie. He always talk about Charlie. So, so I know. <laughs> thank you, of thank course. you. Um, in terms of, of you doing um, cinematography and, and being in front and behind the camera and, mm -hmm. and being a creative director, what are some of the challenges you have encountered thus far you know, in the career? Mm -hmm. I mean, in the past, especially, it was like financial uh, issues. Like, I feel like Fantastic Friday, I, fun I self funded Fantastic yeah, Friday. I, yeah, like I chopped it around for funding all over. But nobody really took me on, so I was like, you know what? I want to make this film, <laughs> right? Like, I just want to do this thing. So I put my money into it, make sure that my actors were paid. Like, you know, the friends who were able to contribute in any way, you know, in kind or whatever, were able to do that. Whoever I couldn't pay, you know, did I did that for them, and you know, now we have this film. But since then, I've had more support, like from the Ministry of um, Tourism, Culture, and the Arts, mm -hmm. for example, for Mass Prep, which is a series that I'm doing, right. and um, from Punch and Rum, and from Film TT to make a lot of the work that I'm doing now, mm -hmm. and. And I've kind of figured out some ways to get it done, you know, to find funding to make my work. But I think that has been like my major, you know, deterrent. You, you know, other other deterrents that I feel like other filmmakers might face, I feel like, you know, 
I figured out how to make it happen myself because I kind of forced myself to learn how to edit, force myself to like, you know, do a lot of things on a high level so that I, you know, if I, if I can't afford to pay somebody to do it, I could figure out how to do it myself. I can do it to myself, you know, for myself. I love that. I love that. I love that. I love that. Thank you. Nice. That's what we're talking about. So tell us about um, Fantastic Friday. Yes. Let's start with that one first. <laughs> what, what is Fantastic Friday about? So Fantastic Friday, as the name suggests, it ha it's about these three friends who run away from home on the Fantastic Friday, which is the Friday before kind of right, Monday and right, Tuesday. Right. And they get into a bunch of wildness in town, basically. <laughs> like, you know, from running into unruly drivers to scalpers to all kind of randomness. You know, we had a lot of fun shooting this through, during actual events. So, you know, part of it was scripted, but other parts of it we kind of shot during old mass and shot during real parties and mixed okay. whatever we had written with you know the actual events when happening. Happen, when happen? the, actually the last carnival before the pandemic. Yes, yes. Yes. <laughs> the last last one. Wow. Yeah. So 2020 and actually some parts of it I was going to shoot some of the B-roll after carnival because yeah. like you know I'm so tired. There's you know so much parties happening throughout the year in Trinidad. I can more than get more B-roll but then I was like you know what let me do it and then in March the pandemic happened. So it's a good thing you know we were able to shoot everything right before the pandemic and just spend the rest of the time editing moving forward. Yeah, and these amazing actors yes, starting yes, yeah, it. Yeah, actors well too, <laughs> you know, yeah. it was so, so great working with that. I wanted to talk about the actors as well. In terms of your roles in um, Fantastic Friday, um, you can start with Angel. You know, tell us. <laughs> no, how was you, I was playing the role, but I know Angel, of course, from from TikTok. Yeah, you must yeah, know yeah, Angel yeah. from yes. TikTok. <laughs> yeah, no? So, yeah, I was, I was playing that role. You know? Well, first to begin, was that your first, that's your first film or? No, it's not my first film actually. Okay. Um, my first film was when I was like 12, 12 13, I was now in four months, so probably 13. Mm -hmm. um, it was a, a film, a, a movie called Sally's Way. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you ever heard about that, or Dread Mansion and them. That was a good film. Um, we have to talk about that. We have to talk about Fantastic Friday. Fantastic Friday, yes. <laughs> yeah. So, being Crystal, because Crystal is my character name, mm -hmm. Crystal is also my fake name, also. <laughs> I call you Crystal from no one. And so when yeah. I say, I went, Crystal! <laughs> <laughs> so, Crystal, um, I would say playing her role was kind of like playing me, mm. if I'm being very honest. Because just the character itself, meaning her personality, it's similar to mine. Right. Um, she outgoing, she liked to party, but she parents, well, she's grandmother, because she was about her grandmother. Yeah. She grandmother is not really that type of person, so that's out and stuff, so that's where the sneaky, the sneaking <laughs> all <laughs> come from, <laughs> to go to Fantastic Friday, and yeah. I believe the character. This was in 2020, so now I'm trying to refresh my memory <laughs> while talking about <laughs> the whole time. That's what we're going to um, yeah. Um, I think I was going away for school, mm -hmm. and uh, that is the reason why we decided to go out on this Fantastic Friday because that is what only back in Allah start from Fantastic Friday yeah, for yeah, every yeah. Monday and Tuesday. It's Fantastic Friday yeah. where you get all the party, all the drama, all the scene. <laughs> so, um, my grandmother come in the room, she check, she thing, and I was like, that's something I will do, but I feel like if I will do that for real, <laughs> like, you know, kind of, I've never sneak up before, if my mother had <laughs> but, you know, <laughs> like, let me imagine it, that's something I will do for real, yeah, yeah. and it was fun, even with working with uh, Aaron <laughs> and Jamari, yeah. that's the characters, yeah. it was fun, because I know Aaron from DCFE, I went DCFE, I study, um, um, he was the Department of Cultural right. and Festival Festival Arts. Right, nice. I went this CFA to study theater theater arts in my certificate. Okay. And I went to, to school with Aaron. Aaron was in my certificate class. I know Aaron from before, so mm -hmm. the connection when it comes to friendship it was easy. Mm -hmm. And this guy right here, yeah. <laughs> he very friendly and stuff. So it wasn't hard to like. You know, get our friendship where you can see that was our actual so pure friend. Yeah, yeah, the chemistry yeah. was. And that's actually kind of why I casted them. Actually, no, that's exactly why I casted them. Because <laughs> I, I met them together while I was shooting a documentary on Jamal last season. I was like, okay, these, you yeah. know, yeah. these working yeah. well together. Yeah. And then when they auditioned, I had them, you know, I had them read the characters. I'm like, yeah, these people have to definitely, you know, act together somehow, somehow. <laughs> Mind you, <laughs> a little insight. Um, the person that actually auditioned for Aaron Roller oh. was my boyfriend at the time. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on, hold on. Your boyfriend can't leave us. 
And he's he's actually the one that told me about it. Like he was like, he was like, um, so I was beginning to say to my friend. No, let me tell you this one. Let me tell you this. I like to hit scenes. I like to cut flicks. Right. So he was like, Angel, my friend, um, having a casting for a show, a movie actually, a short film, and he said, I think you really play be a. Good, a good can, yeah, yeah, good candidate for this position. So I was like, okay, cool. And time and I fresh anyway. I want to act. I have uh, been acting since I was small, but I mean, like, I want to act outside of just theater, just yeah. uh, stage. Mm. So I was like, okay, cool. Um, so I come running after. I think Aaron, well, Aaron. Yeah, the one who get the role. Yeah, the one who get the role. But his character, we had like a kind of chemistry. The characters had a chemistry. So my boyfriend probably was saying, I thought, oh yeah. So he go, he go and get us role and <laughs> he go and click it off. So quack, quack, quack. You had anything in the, in, in the film that your boyfriend was uncomfortable about that, that happened in the film? No, he, he, he just act. Because I mean, so. I see this one. He does act. <laughs> so I don't think he, like, he know that, okay, cool, it's just acting. Well, that's what that's what that's what I that's what you think. That's what I think. That's what I want to believe. Right. Aaron. Aaron. Not your boy. Um, well, all of this new to me. Okay. Okay. Yeah, this was actually my first film, but wow. um, but I act with the man company. So right. But um, I had a few opportunities in the past, but. Jonathan is a shy person. <laughs> they don't really put himself out there and thinking like that. My friend there and I'm thinking again. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then when well, Shy contacted me, think through my director. But Shy was part of our company yeah. also. And when I was I like, ah, okay. <laughs> okay. I was like, nah, it's Shy, it's Shy, Shy for sure. But mm-hmm. she's part of the company. And it was something new. So it's like, okay, I'm going to give this a try. I'm going to give this a try. And as an angel say, the chemistry was there. It was a good. Yeah, didn't feel forced. I just like naturally just fit well, in. Right? It was fun and playful <laughs> and things like that. And it's similar to me too. Yeah. When it comes to my. So it was easy for you to play part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what you're talking about, boy. And um, something I wanna actually come and chat you on as well because I know a lot of youth would actually not be in tune with our culture, but I I real happy that we actually see youths coming forward and putting our culture there on the forefront as well, you know, and bringing it to the nation because something I was doing the other day, boy, and I asked, I asked a youth about something and I was like, what are you talking about? Mm-hmm. And I think it's very important that we actually teach our oh, youth yeah, for sure. about our culture. Our culture is so diverse, so rich, mm-hmm, you know, mm-hmm. so great, you know, so clap us. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> clap us for that, clap us for that. I love it, I love it, I love it. So what I want to ask as well too is um in terms of the, you know, where, oh, you want to do this? Oh, no, oh. No. so in terms of, <laughs> in terms of, of seeing Fantastic Friday, you know, where, mm-hmm. where could we see Fantastic Friday, you know, um is it coming to, to theaters as well, you know? Yeah, you can see Fantastic Friday this Friday <laughs> um, <Okay>. at, the, <laughs> at, the, at the big black box um, right. at 7 p.m. Doors open from 6.30. You can get tickets on Island E or you can get them at the Lost Tribe Mass Camp. If you're going to screen in it, screen in it there along with Mass Prep, which is a docuseries about traditional mass characters. Mm-hmm. So there's four episodes, um, one on Boko Jambi's Blue Devil, Borkeets, mm-hmm. and Jab Molassi. And then there's like a performance from Chicken Owl, and okay. then you know a little after party with uh, 808 right. and Channel 13, some dope DJs. So you know <laughs> a lot of fun to have. And also we're gonna have like complimentary smoothies on entry from Farm and Function, as well as like there's gonna be popcorn on sale. There's gonna be sorbet ice cream on sale and lollipops to keep you all cool. And you know I know I know you're all warm these days, so you know we're thinking about those things. All you know right. just you know a cool atmosphere to enjoy some yeah, films, enjoy some culture. Vibe. You know. Yeah, yeah, I love that. I love that. But. <laughs> Um, in terms of the episodes, um, mm-hmm. you know, could you kind of like give me a, a brief, you know, description on, on each? Yes. yes. Um, each episode is it's um it's similar format for each. Each mm-hmm. episode is really about showing people the step by step process of what it takes to create or and be involved in traditional mass. And I, I kind of started it out of my own create um curiosity. Like I wasn't sure, you know, like what do blue devils do to get the blue color on their skin? Like you know, yo, you know, that, what, yo, right? You know, yeah. and I realized that they use actually blue that you use to to wash clothes with, and Serious. they mash it up and they use lard and charcoal. 
alcohol and put all these things together the authentic way not not, not if you're using um, um paint, paint which is fine too but yeah. you know if you really want to go back to the roots and we went to parman and we shot with next level devils and it showed us the full thing you know what we even used to blow the fire kerosene i learned to blow fire even during this process wow. you know and uh, for the first time and i was like wow like this is like you know insane That's amazing. you know i even yeah. learned to dance borokita as well so each episode you know they show you the history of of the character the material that you need to use in order to get the manifestation out there the kind of rituals you need to be involved in some of them are very light some of them are dependent you can you know really on whatever it doesn't really have to be a certain religion mm -hmm. it's however you decide to pay respect to your ancestors or pay respect to this character there are many different each episode kind of has their own version of how they do that so i'm very excited to show beautiful, that beautiful. as well <laughs> beautiful and, and um in terms of uh the culture you know mm -hmm. why, why why do you think as a, as a film director and i'll ask everyone you know why you think is very important for us to you know, a whole Yeah. I think for me growing culture. up growing up I didn't have cable. I didn't like, you know, come from, you know, a, a super rich family or anything like that. Yeah. So a lot of the content I was taking in was really a lot of old time Trini films and stuff on channel four and you know yeah, you know, like <laughs> I was watching a lot of guile as well and being really being yes. inspired you know, really being inspired Fine. by us, you know, stuff that, you know, we liked and you yeah. know, I when I I think maybe like around twelve or thirteen, I think TTT at that point went offline and you know turned into CNMG. You know, see, I can't remember the station, but I think it you know, off. yeah, it went offline and a lot of the local content I was seeing wasn't really on TV anymore. Yeah. And actually, I actually felt that because I was like, if there's all I have to watch, and now all I have to watch is news, yeah. you know, <laughs> that's kind of off, you know. But for me, when I started making my own work. I started to just make the work that I know will inspire younger people or things that could show younger people, you know, and our culture. Cool. Yeah, and making it fun to yeah. digest. Because another thing I, I encountered when I started making content mainly for online is that I couldn't even find the high quality content I wanted to yeah. see. So I'm like, you know what? If the information is there, but it's just not palatable, and I wanted to find a way to make it palatable for young people, palatable for me, you know, because I get bored so <laughs> easily. <laughs> you know, like even when I'm editing, I edit for somebody who has like ADHD or somebody who, you know, is. is isn't able to pay attention as you know oh. consistently and for me if I'm watching something that I edit and I'm getting bored I know there's something I need to fix there so mm -hmm. that's how I go about trying to make things palatable for anybody especially young people to watch that's beautiful, that's beautiful. <laughs> um, so in terms of you know um, somebody's actually me on the WhatsApp mm -hmm. um, if they're overseas if they're in America where where can they actually see it? You know, is it possible, mm -hmm. you know, to get it online? Or? Yes. Um, if you're overseas, well, I had the first two episodes of Mass Prep online at a point in time. And I'm going to be re-releasing them online um, after the screening. So for Carnival, I'm going to be releasing all the four episodes and as, as well as um, four more episodes. So in all, there will be eight episodes on my YouTube channel, Scene, Produ Scene Productions on YouTube. Mm -hmm. Or you can you follow us on Instagram at Scene Presents. So there you'll be able to see when the episodes are going to be coming out. Because definitely I didn't just make this work to put it in a festival and not let people who it's made for yeah, see it. Yeah. So it's going to be on YouTube and Fantastic Friday soon as well, going to be on YouTube. Um, it's also currently on the Minute Shorts app, but we're planning, they, they're going to be removing it soon to, you know, put it back up after the screening. But, okay. you know, if you're away and you have the Minute Shorts app right now, you could view it there, but in the future, it'll be online on YouTube for you to see. Yeah, <laughs> just follow Shari, all right? And, and <laughs> with that, um, tell us, you know, in terms of your handles and where we could see more people. Mm -hmm. Well, if you want to see me or my work, my personal page is at Shari Petty with three I's at the end, S H A R I P E T T I I I. Because I couldn't get the round, the first oh, I. Wow. Yeah, I don't know who took my name. I mean, I think I accidentally made an Instagram page back then when Instagram first came out and then abandoned it, and now I can't use my own name. So oh. I had to add a little two I's. Yeah. <laughs> and then if you want to follow yes. Scene, um, it's at Scene Presents. So S C E N E Presents, and that's where most of the work is housed at the moment. Um, and in general, yeah, in general, and reality. Okay, tell us, yeah, your handles, you know, where to find um, you. Um, Jonathan, <laughs> I just not care. Jonathan, you know, I'm not a social media person, I'm not a social media person, man. Uh, at all, at all. But I'm Jono, <laughs> just, just Jono, Jono 2103. All right. <laughs> Hi guys, well you all can find me on <laughs> you can find Angel on Instagram at ang dot baby a n g i e e dot b a b y y um well you can follow my tiktok too mm -hmm. <laughs> she made on tiktok <laughs> my tiktok is not angel 20 oh. that was actually 
<laughs> but of course, thanks, um, thanks for passing me through, guys, and, and yes, Shane. Thanks for having us. Yeah, yes. um, I see him again. Go on, okay. Let me see. We'll call in here. Hello. All right. So we will talk after the interview, right? You want to say anything to the to the actors and Shari? <laughs> All right. Goodness. <laughs> What going on with the chemistry between between in trouble is this? Don't say that all night. Oh, don't get me in trouble. It's just, it's just after the just. Nah, you ain't bored, man. Nah, let me not do that. Is this Iran listening? All right, hello, my boy. Okay, all right. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. But guys, continue keeping up the the, 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 the good work and showcase our culture, Shari. Appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, and thank you as well. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Even though I, 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 it's at a time I reach out to Shari and Shari. True. Is he Shari and Shari? No, but that's goodness still. That's goodness still, you know? And everybody just be busy same too. Nice. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> yeah. Nah, people tell me, yeah, Shari, just be busy, but you just say that. Yeah. Sorry, we'll, we'll no, rectify no, no, that. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's, good, it's goodness, it's goodness. And I'll actually be there. I'll actually come and put you to the guitar and see. You know, because I'm uh, actually for the culture as well. Yes, yes. So, goodness, all you. All right. Thank you. Just remind us again where we can see the, the film this um, Friday. Black Box this Friday, November 3rd. All right. 7 p.m. 7 p.m. All you. Be there. Early. Support. Yes. Support the youth. Support the culture. All right. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> I brought a ticket, brought a ticket for you. Serious? Yes, as actually an apology because I went back in my WhatsApp chat and I was like, oh, there's a voice note I never listened to. Ah. <laughs> and thanks for calling me out on that. So. Yeah, you know, I think I texted you and didn't reply. Wow. <laughs> but Anna, at least I'm consistent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anna, Anna, you was like, nah, nah, Shari, ding, 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 ding. I didn't even bother because I was like, nah, Shari, ding, 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 ding. I didn't even bother because I was kind of one time. I do get a reply. Here you go. <laughs> but I thought you were too hot. Let me see your finger. I'm going to support. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you, thank you. Thank you.